Hello there YouTube. Today I'm going to go over how to put one of these upholstery Nook Natural assembled con rep something whatever this thing called. Here's the model number. Uh, when you order it off of Amazon it doesn't come with instructions. So if you see the picture here it is. I put it back together. So let me go over everything you need uh, step by step of what you need to do to Put this lovely table set together all right first thing first uh what i did was i found all my similar pieces like this l-shaped piece right here they also have another one right here another one right there another one right there and the best way to sort these things out is if by their holes uh so let me show you this let me turn the light on <clears throat> so when you get it it's going to be all disassembled right so you see what one hole two hole three hole four hole but when you go on the inside under here you will have uh, a board which is this board right here you're gonna have three holes in here one two three there's a wood peg that goes here two screws go here and the same on the other side look on the inside you see here just flat uh, also under here, you'll also see a piece of wood, which is under here. And you'll see another piece of wood that's right there. They all cut the lint. The best part about this uh, setup is, is if you put the wood where it's supposed to go, there's a little indention in the wood where the screw would naturally go. So that is your instructions for this setup. So let me go ahead and lay this thing on its back so I can show you where all the little miscellaneous piece goes. Alright, here we go. Get the table out the way. So if you want to start with the bench first, this is what you do. You get all your pieces together. Let me show you the back of it. So this is a board by itself. This is a board by itself. This back wood piece right here. Remember your legs. Here's one, two. Here's another back piece. This is all one piece by itself. This piece here is by itself. This is another piece full across by itself. Top piece here is by itself. So let me go ahead and lay this on the side so you can see what the bottom looks like. All right, so from the bottom face, you'll have a board here, just a board by itself. It has a rounded edge, just like on the back sections down over here to trim. They also have another piece that's right here. This is also rounded. Three goes in the bottom of the cushion. Three goes in the bottom of the cushion. You also have this piece here, like I told you before. You have three, two screws. One here and here. That's going into the L-shaped piece. You'll have two screws underneath that go into the bottom of the seat. You have this one board here. It has three holes. Like I said, you have a screw, a wood peg, and a screw. This is where the screw goes for that one. Screw goes through right up into there. Same thing on the bottom. When you go to the back side, you'll have a screw hole. It was like a two wood pegs and a screw. Also here, same thing, two wood pegs and a screw. So the screw in there, you have this screw here goes into the back of the seat. This screw here goes on the very very top where the trim piece is so pretty much you can almost puzzle piece this together okay this is the long side this is the long side that's what it looks like from the inside it now you go down to the bottom the u-shaped piece so this is like the center where the center person will sit so you have a piece of wood here by itself you also have this piece by itself and that piece by itself like I say, the best way to know which way or which piece goes where, you just pop a screw. Let's say the screw is right here in the side. If you just touch part of this part of the panel, there's like a little small screw indention so that you know that this board goes right here. All you do is put the screw on the inside. Like I say, on the inside, inside, like this one here. You just run it up and down the board like this, and all of a sudden, click, it falls in a spot. You know it goes there. That's how I put this sucker together. This piece is by itself, this is by itself, this is by itself, but you see where it goes. 
Like I said, you got your two L shapes. One, two. There's a screw that protrudes through there. All right. Now to go on to the bottom side. So with this one here, like I said, you got a rounded edge piece right here. Just just goes on to the bottom to keep the cushion from going back and forward. You also got the underlaid part. So like I said, there's a screw here. There's a screw there. All you got to do is just put the screw in there, slide the piece of wood up against it, and you should feel two screw holes. Also, two screws go on the bottom for the seat. Same for over there. One, two, goes into this L-shaped piece. One, two, goes in the bottom of the seat. The best way to know if you got your side pieces correct, because remember, like I said, this board here has one screw on the side and has two wood pegs that stick into it. So one side just has one hole. The other side has three holes. So that you know that this board goes in this direction. The board here goes in that direction. One screw on the inside. You come on the outside, you also have one screw. This is just what it looks like when you complete the job, when you put the little wood pegs in it. Uh, little cap pieces. So you have a screw here, two wood pegs go here with one screw up the center. This is just what it looks like when it's done. When you get it all finished and filled in. All right, that's the bench. So you can almost just look at your pieces, look at my pieces, and say, okay, this goes there, that goes there, that goes there. So that's the bench. Let's go ahead and sit this back down. <clears throat> One thing I did notice with the back triangle piece right up here, this is the top piece. It doesn't have a bracket. All it came with was this funny shaped piece of wood. So all I'm going to do is that right there. Maybe pop a screw off in it. Call it a day. That's as far as I got with that. Oh yeah, and all screws we're using this kit except these four right here. I have no idea where they go. But at least you'll get it done. <laughs> Alright, now this is the table. Here is the table. Let's go ahead and put this on his back. Alright, so putting the table together, you have this foot piece here. You got the center piece. It goes small to big. You also have wood pegs up in here, so you'll have a, uh, I think it's like a wood peg, a wood peg. You'll have this solid piece of wood, and then you'll have the table. And how this screws down is, <clears throat> you come in from the bottom, you screw these two pieces. No, no, you take the tabletop, tabletop goes last. When you put this piece on, there's a wood peg here, a wood peg here, and there's also two screw holes in the top. You just run those two screws in, and then now this top piece is secured to the leg. You also got two screws here with two little nuts that go through. You got to use a, a screwdriver to get them straight. You also have two on that side as well. And all you do is just take your island wrenches that came in the kit, put it in there, work it in, bam, screw it down until you get it into the screw. The foot piece here screws in from the bottom. There it is. The way you know which is the top and from bottom is to look at this. This is the little piece that goes on the floor. So you know you got to get the long screws out the pack that goes one, two, three, four. Get this part done. Put these two pieces together. Then you come in with your center piece. Obviously you see two screws here, right? So in the middle, you'll have one little wood dial pin that goes here. So two screws, two nuts. Put all this together, then you put your top piece right here, this little top plate, top plate, two, two little pegs, two screws go in, knock it down. From the To get the tabletop attached to this top plate, obviously you got two screws here and two screws there. Same thing on the bottom, two screws there, two screws there. Table is done. Let's go ahead and flip this back up. All right, table done. All right, for the lovely bench. All right, if you flip it over. You have a little wood piece here. Little wood piece here. Obviously, you see the screws, how they go into it. 
two screws go into the table, two screws go into the table. You also got a bunch of these little screws right here that go into the seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over there. You also have the same thing like you have on the table with the holes in the side with one little wedge that go up in here. You got two screws that go here. There it is, two screws that go here, Allen wrench. Get your Phillips screwdriver, put it in there, straighten it up over here. Run your two screws in there, bam, lock it down. The way you know what side is top from bottom is because of the little feet right here. Once you get all everything lined up, you tighten it all down. Bam, bench is done. This is what it looks like when it's completed. No extra parts left over. Well, that explains where the four mission screws go. One, two, three, four. Four screws left on my table. So that'll lock down this bench, keep it from sliding around and moving. So that's assembling this lovely upholstery nook natural assembly. So if you had any comments or questions about this, Please go ahead and drop it down in the link or tell me anything or if you have any questions about anything, I'd be happy to help. Uh, good luck to everybody and uh, happy hunting.